This is like probably the weirdest video I've ever made in my life. It's yes, I got extensions. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now I'm sure you guys noticed something different about me. I'm not wearing my glasses. No, just kidding. I have super long hair. It's crazy. Like, you guys, I got hair extensions. Ah! Round of applause. And the way I just can't stop touching them. Oh my god. Yes, but I do think they look pretty good if I say so myself. Honestly, I was really nervous, but it came out so, so good. And I just, I feel like I had to make like a video dedicated to my hair. I know that's so dramatic, but like, I just felt like it'd be really weird if I just came onto this channel and my hair was completely different. I feel like a lot of you guys would be like, questioning and freaking out but yes it's it's extensions it's human hair but it's not my hair <laughs> well it's my hair now because i bought it and like i seriously i can't even describe how i feel right now like i've wanted my hair at this length for literally years and years and years like ever since i was a little kid i wanted really really long hair but i always cut my hair because people around me were telling me that i had to cut my hair i'm sure other trans women can understand that life and to be honest it would always get to the length that it was at before I got these extensions in and then I would just cut it because I'd feel so discouraged like growing my hair out and I'd be like I'm just never gonna have a nice long hair it's so ugly so I just would go to the barber shop and be like let's get it all cut off and I'm just gonna tell you this is my advice if you are questioning if you're a trans girl or I guess whatever non-binary whatever if you're questioning and you like, just don't touch your hair, girl. Don't cut your hair. Do not cut your hair. Do not be like, I'm going to cut my hair. And then that's going to make me not be trans because that's what I tried to do. And it did not make me not trans. All it did was make me transitioning even more miserable. Just keep it at whatever length. It's fine. You don't have to cut your hair to prove to anything, anybody, whatever, that you're not whatever. Like, just do what you want to do. Yes, but for me, I cut my hair. And so I was really struggling, especially because I came out and my hair was like, honestly very short it was it was just very scary and very cringe so r.i.p let's take a little moment to mourn all of the horrible hair moments that i had on this channel girl i just wanted like to make this video updating i wanted to show you guys like my extensions because obviously you're probably gonna be seeing them a lot now and honestly i can't even tell you guys like the difference that it ma has made it's made me feel so much more feminine so much more beautiful like you know and that's kind of what i've learned like through this entire process is that every step that you make it really does just bring you more and more into like the comfort that you're craving as a trans person you know what i'm saying like you know and just like not to feel so like discouraged all the time for me honestly like I, this was a really like an expense for me it was a luxury it was something that i really wanted i've been wanting for months i've been planning i did a lot of research but i just want people to be clear like if you're gonna make this kind of investment it really is best that you are sure and you know what you want you don't don't have to know exactly every little detail, but it does help to know like what you're looking for. Um, and I would really recommend taking a consultation with a hair salon or with a hairstylist who does extensions. You know, I feel like I got very, very lucky because my hair was honestly pretty difficult. I feel like it's very thick. It took a lot of hair to get to this point. I have like 270 grams in my head right now, but it was a thousand percent worth it. I knew that I was going to make like a big investment because I knew that I had a lot of hair. I knew that if I wanted to have hair extensions, I would have to have a lot of layers. I wanted them to last like at least a few months so my hair could grow out. Yes, I feel like I did. I honestly, I feel so much better. Like, I honestly think it was totally the right move. This is, I feel like, the best money I've ever spent in my life. I know that sounds insane, like, probably to most people, but I'm not joking. The, the difference it's made on my self-esteem is just in, just in one day. Like, it really is, it's weird, it's crazy. But if you don't have, like, super thick, giant hair like I have, honestly, it's probably better if you just go with, like, a clip-in extension that you can just remove every single time. Like, honestly, if I didn't have this giant, like, mound of hair before, then I probably wouldn't have not gotten, like, the kind of extensions that I got. I just decided to do it because, honestly, like, clipping in extensions every single day was gonna get very, very tiring for me because I have a lot of hair, I'd have to do a lot of layers, I would have to do a lot with it, and it's not like this isn't a lot of work and a lot of upkeep. It is, you know, it definitely is like a commitment, but it's something that I feel like it just really boosts my confidence. It's something I'm willing to like put a lot of time into and like really take care of. Yeah, so for me, it's just like a no brainer for me to get hair extensions. If I'm being like 100% honest, this is like the first kind of thing I've even done to like really change my appearance. Now, like obviously I've been taking hormones and my appearance has changed because of that. And also I've been practicing makeup. I've been trying to dress clothes that are like suited to my body type and things like that. And those things can really, really help 
get you to the point where you want to be at. But for me, obviously, like I want to start doing more changes to make me more passable as a woman. Um, and I feel like honestly, this was such a huge accomplishment for me to be able to like get these hair extensions. And obviously, like I couldn't really have done this if it wasn't for my YouTube channel. So I really do have to give like a huge thanks to everyone that watches and supports my YouTube channel because it just wouldn't have been possible for me at all. The amount of relief that I have, like I don't even view this as just like a beauty thing. Like I view this fully as like something I needed just for myself. Like it's just for like peace of mind, you know what I'm saying? And I know like for most people that just is like, it's not gonna make sense. People aren't gonna really understand unless you're trans. Anyway, I really, I just really love my hair right now. Like I've been touching it, playing with it the entire, this entire video, like it's very embarrassing, but, and the color is perfect. I just want to say the color, like literally, the color is the color of my natural hair, which is honestly, I was very impressed. My natural hair is just, it's very dark, but it has a lot of red undertones to it. So it just makes it very difficult to get the exact right shade. And I did come home yesterday and she did a much lighter color and I was really happy with it. I thought that the results were amazing, but I'm much happier now that it is actually like my natural hair color and that it's not too red and it's it's still very much like the brown kind of brownish red that i am been used to. I should have never cut my hair ever in my life. I should have just kept my hair long forever and never cut it, but we all do things in our life that we eventually come to regret. So I'm trying to learn to let those things go and just to live in the moment, live, live in the present. Like I have these beautiful hair extensions. This YouTube channel allowed me to do it. So I'm really just super thankful for my life right now super grateful for the things that i that i'm that i have that i know a lot of people don't have access to or they're struggling um and you know i just really want to tell you guys that i was there at, at some at one point you know what i'm saying i was at that point where i felt like i could not have anything i could not do i couldn't i couldn't transition because i thought that the expense would just be so high that i just never could live my life as a woman and it just would never happen for me and i just want you guys to have to to keep with you that you don't understand how much things can change for you and that you whatever moment you're at right now like there's always potential for you to change you know for me when i one of the first things i bought when i transitioned was actually this necklace that i'm wearing right now and i wear it so much and i'm like so fond of it is because first of all it's just one of the first things that i bought when i was first starting to transition and I was first starting to buy women's clothes so it just has a lot of sentimental value for that reason but also I, it came to symbolize something for me you know that that this feeling that I had that I was trapped that I could never escape basically this necklace really it's it's there to remind me that I have the key to unlock my own misery I know that sounds very dramatic you know I really I really do believe that that we all have the power in ourselves to free ourselves you know obviously I'm still struggling obviously I'm not 100% where I want to be in my transition and in my life the amount of progress I've made in the past year has been so amazing and so astounding to me. Like I said, there were times where I thought I would just never transition, I would never be able to. It was just something unrealistic and that nobody would support me through it. You know, but I really feel like one of the best gifts that I've given myself is proving myself wrong and proving to myself that I'm not just this trapped person, that I'm never gonna be able to escape like this gender dysphoria that I was feeling every single day and that I was never gonna be able to live my life the way I wanted to. So I just want everyone to know if you're in that moment and you're struggling, it doesn't matter if you're trans or whatever, I think that you have the key inside yourself too. Yeah, but if you guys have like any questions or anything, I'd be happy to answer whatever you guys wanna know. I'm sure you guys wonder if like it hurt or anything like that. And, and honestly, getting them installed was maybe uncomfortable, but it really wasn't painful and I've had them in for about 24 hours now and they definitely feel a lot less uncomfortable than they did when I first got them installed. This channel has really just become like Avatar Less Airbender and me talking about my transition so but I know a lot of you out there are here for it so I'm gonna continue doing it and if you guys like this video and you want to see more videos about my transition then please leave a like and leave a subscription. It really helps this YouTube channel out. All right I'll talk to you guys all in my next video.